Well, good evening, everybody. It's day th uh, 12. It's Friday, the 12th of January, so day 12 of the carnivore diet. So anybody out there who's watching, it's nearly two weeks now. And I've been I've never been this strict actually this long, even though I have a tiny, tiny bit of carbs a little bit once every day. Every time I've done any sort of low carb diet in the past, I've always cheated. And this time I've been super, super strict because I think because the diet's actually super simple. Um, even keto, normal keto diets are like, well, you can have this, but you can't have that. And you can have this, but you can't have that. And you can have a little bit of this and you can have some of that, but don't eat any of that and stay away from this thing, which is really confusing. The carnivore diet is really simple. It's really easy. Eat meat. Don't eat anything else. So I think from having that as a as a very strict, simple guideline, I think that makes it much easier to stick to. And it also, for me anyway, it also means that I don't tend to cheat as much because I can't try and bend the rule and I can't find a way to work around it. It's like, well, is it meat or is it milk? <laughs> and, and, and maybe if you're desperate, is it peanuts? And so that's made it really simple for me to stick to. So I, that's been good. I've been feeling really successful about that. Today, let's see, we woke up this morning, had lost a little bit more. So it was 97.7 yesterday, 97.5 today. So that's six pounds exactly. So in 12 days, I've lost six pounds and I've been to the gym exactly twice and lifted weights when I was there. So this isn't doing a huge amount of fitness or killing the cardio in the background or anything like that. This is literally just what's happening on the diet. I don't feel like I'm doing anything. I don't I do feel hungry still. I I still I still have the urge to snack quite a lot even though I'm not hungry, but I I think it's a habit and it's I just have to break the habit of of having sweet, some sort, even if it's a tiny, just a jelly bean, but that's like the thin end of the wedge. And then if I say, oh, well, I can just have one jelly bean, then I'll have, and oh, then I'll have four or five jelly beans. And then it just goes from there. So anyway, I've been, I've been much better about that. And yeah, got 6,000. So nearly hit my step goal for the day and my calories are about right. So I've settled around, when I eat about 15, 1,700 calories a day, I feel pretty good. And I feel like that's enough that I'm not hungry most of the time, but it's also not too much that I feel like I'm having too many. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, it's, it's just steadily ticking down. So we'll see what happens with that. As far as the rest of it, my knee is still quite sore sometimes. My my other tendons are are quite I don't want to say they're better. I think they're about the same. So again, I think that might take a little bit longer. That's going to be a a longer term fix if the diet fixes it. So anyway, I'm keeping an eye on that and yeah, the weather's been super, super cold, but it's been clear. So what we might do is I might go for a long walk tomorrow. Um, my wife has some schoolwork and stuff that she needs to do over the weekend. So I don't know actually if I'll get to go with her. So maybe I'll just go to the gym or something. Anyway, you don't need to know more about my personal life. But yeah, I'm going to try and get some exercise this weekend to add to it. I might go to work tomorrow. And if I'm in, if I'm in town, then it'll be easier for me to try and go to the gym. Anything else? Um, I did mention that I had some sort of itchy skin and I got a, a weird, I got like a sore underneath my watch just from wearing my watch the other day and um, which I've never had and I've worn smart watches. I've worn the Samsung watches since the very first one. That's the, that's my Samsung watch. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Nope. Um, and I don't know if you can see that, but that is like a raw spot. 
that just happened underneath my watch, which again has never happened before. Don't think it has anything to do with the diet, but maybe there's some changes going on in my body and my skin's reacting differently to things. Who knows? I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it and see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today. And I will check in tomorrow and let you know how I get on. Anyway, if you guys are out there doing carnivore diet yourselves or you're thinking about it, feel free to put some comments or questions or anything if you have those in the comments. I see that these videos, some people are seeing these videos, so that's really cool. If you do see it, please hit subscribe, even if you never look at it again. It'll just make me feel better. And, um, and if you are interested, then you can go ahead and hit subscribe and tick the little bell, but I put them up every day. So if you just check back, you can, you can see them, maybe check in once a week or something, and then you can watch them all at once. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's all for today. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.